Hey, today I wanted to share a little bit about why I do three things in my daily and weekly journaling. And it goes by the acronym of ADD. And this is something that can help you save an immense amount of time doesn't take long and the results can just be fantastic, which I will share with you in the rest of the video. So let's get going. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy. And like I said, I wanted to share with you a little bit about some of the journaling prompts I use and things I've been doing for years. And uh, one of these is on my weekly review. It's kind of bounced around. Sometimes I did it um, on a daily review, but it settled into the weekly review and it goes by the acronym of ADD. Um, and this stands for Automate, Delegate, and Delete. And this is something where I just try to come up with anything um, that I can automate, delegate, or delete. And this can be, you know, if I've got a, uh, you know, a mind block, uh, I can't think of anything, anything goes. This is a brainstorming time. Um, and that's how I treat a lot of these questions. A lot of this is just trying to get it out of your head or put something down that maybe will turn into something down the road, or you have this list of ideas for the future. And it's not anything that you have to implement right away. I just want to explain that you know, there's no reason to hold yourself, you know, super strictly to this other than you should be trying to write something down. Uh, and the reason for this, the benefits on this are huge. So in 2018, I think it was a long time ago, um, I counted up uh, the times I started recording, hey, what are the things that I have automated? And like, how much time are they saving? And I went after the low hanging fruit first, which is relatively easy things to do, but that were recurring. Um, so maybe it was, oh, one example was a weekly meeting um, for a business. And so having to have the notes uh, be ready for that, uh, basically just duplicating a template, uh, changing the dates, doing a couple things, having them in the folder in Google Drive and finding out that Zapier could do this. So it took me a little while in terms of, you know, it took me probably 45 minutes, an hour in Zapier at the time, uh, but that saved me that maybe five minutes every week that I was doing it. You know, at the time I was like, oh, the meeting's coming up, I'll just get this done you know, maybe it's even just two or three minutes, but I'm doing it every single week for years on end. Uh, so realized, wow, that's a pretty huge time savings. And then that was just one example of that. So over time, right, that's five minutes, but it's every week. And let's say that's like 50 uh, times a year, right? So five times 50, 250 minutes, what would that be on the fly here? That's over four hours um, of time savings. So that's just one example of um, what you can do with these and how you can end up saving an incredible amount of time and why over the course of a year, if you start doing these things and you automate, you delegate or delete, right? Because some stuff may be, oh, I don't even need to be doing this anymore. I could just totally get this off my plate, not even have someone else do it. Um, that can be a really helpful one too, to keep your systems clean, keep your processes clean and keep the, the cruft from building up over all over the place. So I think if you're not doing this, I would highly encourage you to do uh, as part of your weekly review, monthly review, whatever you do regularly, and just set it, you know, maybe it's a timer for five, 10 minutes and just say, hey, I'm just going to sit here and kind of write down the things that come to mind um, and, you know, anything goes. And then from that, maybe look and see, hey, is there something here that actually makes sense? How much time will it save me? Um, is it recurring? Can I, you know, focus on those first and kind of go from there? But uh, the payoff on these can be huge. Um, I think that adding this in again to your weekly, monthly, quarterly review can be a huge, huge win for you. Um, and again, there's those three categories you can look at automating, delegating, or deleting, and kind of in that order. Um, but whatever really works for you is kind of the way to do it. So uh, if you have any questions or comments about this, uh, leave it below and I will get back to you.